Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about the types of dentine and predentine. Let's get started. First of all, let us talk about predentine. This is what it is a first formed layer of dentine. Okay, this is unmineralized. It consists of collagen, glycoproteins, proteoglycans, and it is similar to the osteoid of bone. Okay, three components collagen, glycoprotein, and proteoglycans. First form layer of dentine, it is similar to the osteoid of bone. It is located adjacent to the pulp tissue with a thickness of 2 to 6 micrometers okay it is wide due to the extent it is wide and it depends means its width width it depends on the extent of the activity of odontoblast and it is thickest during odontogenesis if we talk about its compositional details then it is a pale staining dentine it has different uh, matrix composition as compared to the mineralized dentine okay here the collagen fibers undergo mineralization at the predentine dentine junction and the predentine becomes dentine after that a new layer of dentine or sorry a new layer of predentine is formed circumpulpally see there is what there occurred mineralization of this layer of dentine and a new layer of predentine was formed okay now if we talk about the types of dentine then see first up is mantle dentine what is mantle dentine it is the first formed dentine in the crown underlying the dej outer or most peri or the most peripheral layer of dentine is the mantle dentine first form layer of dentine underlying the dj outer and the most peripheral layer next up is the circumpulpal dentine now what is circumpulpal dentine it is the remaining part of the primary dentine or the bulk of the dentine the remaining bulk of the dentine it is formed by the circumpulpal dentine it is secreted after the mantle dentine formation by the odontoblasts okay now see the dentine which is encircling the tubules the dentinal tubules the dentine which immediately surrounds the dentinal tubules of the coronal tooth dentine it is known as the peritubular dentine the dentine which is present in between okay the dentine present means which is forming the main body of the tooth of the dentine dentine type of dentine forming the majority or the major body of the dentine is the intertubular dentine located between the dentinal tubules or between the zones of the peritubular dentine and one more is the intratubular dentine which is the deposition of mineral on the inner tubule wall that is the intratubular dentine see mantle dentine and circumpulpal dentine are a type of primary dentine after that comes the secondary dentine now what is secondary dentine the dentine see primary dentine is formed before the root completion okay whereas if we talk about secondary dentine it is a narrow band of dentine which is bordering the pulp it represents that the dentine formation has completed after the formation of root has been completed the tooth is erupted and it is functional okay secondary dentine could be regular or 
irregular. Now, in regular uh, secondary dentine, there is regular arrangement of the dentinal tubules in all the areas except for the apical area. Whereas in irregular dentine, there is irregularity shown by the apical dentine. So that is what the irregular dentine. Now, if if we can see the dentine which is formed after or which is an outcome of the odontoblastic response to irritation which is caused by dentinal abrasion, attrition, cavity preparation, erosion or dentinal caries. That is the tertiary dentine or the reactionary or reparative type of dentine which is the tertiary dentine. Okay. Another type of dentine is the interglobular dentine. Interglobular dentine. The interglobular dentine it is formed or the dentine which contains hypomineralized areas between the mineralized globules. Okay, interglobular dentine is that type of dentine which contains hypomineralized areas between the mineralized globules. Okay, and the one more type of dentine is globular dentine, which is a hypermineralized hypermineralized areas of dentine are globular dentine hypomineralized areas of dentine are interglobular dentine containing hypomineralized areas within the mineralized spicules okay so basically dentine could be divided into three types primary secondary and tertiary dentine primary dentine again subdivided into two types mantle and circumpurpal dentine Mantle dentine first form layer of dentine just below the DEJ. Remaining bulk of the dentine is formed by a circumpurple dentine. Now the dentine which surrounds the dentinal tubules is peritubular. Dentine present between two peritubular dentine is intertubular dentine or the dentine forming the remaining bulk of the dentine is intertubular dentine. Some amount of calcification is present in the inner wall of the dentinal tubule that is intratubular dentine. Secondary dentine is there which is which demarcates the amount of dentine formed after root completion. It is regular and irregular. Regular secondary dentine forms up the majority of the portion. It just surrounds the pulp. Okay, Secondary dentine surrounds the pulp. Irregular dentine is present basically in the apical portion of the tooth. Next is the tertiary dentine. Tertiary dentine is also known as reactionary reparative type of dentine. Okay. It is formed as a reaction or it is what it is the outcome of the odontoblastic response to irritation which could be due to caries, erosion, abrasion, attrition, cavity preparation etc. Other two types of dentine are interglobular dentine and globular dentine. Interglobular dentine is the dentine which contains hypomineralized areas between the mineralized globules. Dentine having hypomineralized areas between mineralized globules is interglobular dentine. Globular dentine is the dentine which is hypermineralized. Okay, so this is it about the types of dentine. In the coming video, we'll be dealing with each of these dentines in detail. So stay tuned. Keep visiting. Thank you.